your axe and allies. No limit here. Time again for axe and allies. No limit expansion. Enhanced global 1940 house rules for YouTube wars. Part six tutorial. Hooray! Well, uh, we left off of round part five. Ended with the Russian turn. I just didn't put down their purchases. So I'd purchase a, a tank, a heavy tank. For the Russian for eight IPCs, and as you know, if you lost all my other videos, that uh, heavy tanks are cost eight IPCs. They can only build it, be built at a factory or three or more in territory value. Only one per turn for all the major nations. That is, so Italy can't build one. They're not a major nation, and um, also they can take a damage. They can't blitz. You know, they can move two spades, but they cannot blitz offensively. And let's see what else. They could be repaired if they're damaged. If they happen to be damaged, they could be repaired on next round on, in any territory next round automatically for free. So, sort of like ships being repaired. So that's what also I forgot to mention when moved this factory from Ukraine to Bryansk. As you know, the, one of the national object, uh, advantages for the Russians, they can move their factories back one or two spaces. And when they do, one space back means only one build. Two spaces back only means two build. But I forgot to mention, when they do uh, move their factories back, like this one came from uh, Ukraine. It also scorch Earth's, Earth's uh, that territory's value down one and into the new territory. It adds up to the two in territory value. So it took away one from Ukraine and put up to two for Bryansk, where the factory, the minor factory moved. Major factories can't do that for the Russians, only minor factories. And the reason why I do that is to make it legal eagle, going with the uh, outbox rules that territory value has to be a two or more to, or they have to have a factory there. So that's why I did it this way. But that's only for the Russians, of course. So that scorcher policy just applies to the territory value of one. Doesn't apply to um, anything else like if it has a uh, air base or naval base or, or such like that. It doesn't apply to that. It just place scorchers to the territory value of one to be transferred to the next territory where the next territory where the factory moved so that's how that goes so uh, it's uh, you know at the time I only build one unit there okay uh, let's see Okay, go for the U.S. turn. Uh, since they're still neutrals, there's not much they can do, but they have 54 IPCs to be spe spent on, so they're gonna, they're gonna they're gonna buy a tech roll. Like I said, it's gonna be an anniversary sort of sort of anniversary roll style te t token. So if they miss, they can roll again next round, but in a little different fashion under my rules. And they're gonna upgrade their cruiser. To a heavy cruiser, which costs five IPCs, and the tech rose also five IPCs. You can only go for one. You can only go for all, a, a single tech for each round. You can't go for multiple techs. You know, you can buy multiple tokens for a single tech. And I'm going to buy a couple destroyers. I'll tell you why I'm doing that. And also to carry with a plane on it. And how much the U.S. can do. So not, they're really not gonna. This is just a European set of the board. I'm not gonna deal with the Pacific. So, uh, yeah, 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 so. Also, I should mention, since in my roles, anyone who starts out with a bomber, like America does, the British, and. Uh, See the Italians, uh, 
Germans and the Japanese, they start with with bombers. So in my rules, if you if I want if I want to um, do any paratroopers on them, it costs one each for each paratrooper. Up to two paratroopers can be dropped from uh, bombers. But in my rules, anything any nation that starts with a bomber automatically gets two credits for each bomber they start with, so they don't have to pay for that for those initial bomb, bomber paratroopers. Like, let's see, uh, really begins with one bomber, so they get uh, they get two freebies. Same thing with um, the British, and of course the Germans, they have two bombers, so they start out with four freebies, as well as uh, Japanese, which you saw in my Pacific video. So, I'm just going to put down my purchases, or my bills, I should say. It's legal, legal. Yeah. Plus, I'm upgrading this to a heavy cruiser now off, uh, off the seaport of a, of a major, of a, not just a, it don't have to be a major factory, but of a factory of a, of a three or more territory value on it, and it, that's just easy twenty or five or twelve for the other one. Let's see, so that's legal, legal under my rules. So the heavy, like heavy cruiser, upgrade so a heavy cruiser. You could put down, you could make your own heavy cruiser or put a, a marker under that to indicate it's a heavy cruiser now. And let's see, uh. Uh, heavy crew is going to take one damage. And you can also sh sh shoot one AA gun in the first round of battle. And if it's damaged, it can't bombard. What else can it do? Uh, heavy crews cannot cannot bombard, and its uh, offensive and defensive cap capabilities is reduced down to one. So instead of a three, it's down to two in attack and defense. If it's damaged, and a repair just like capital warships, like battleships and carriers, and so uh, I'm buying a token for America. Let's see if I can get that tech. Six. Nope, it's a two. So that means next, I still keep that token. And now that next next round roll will be a five or a six. Since it missed, if it missed that, the next round, the next round will be between <laughs> a four, five, and six. Until it you know, holds that way until they get the tech, uh, that tech roll. So, all right, uh, that's that's U.S. So let's go for uh, uh see ya, uh, the U.K. U.K. Europe. So what they're gonna do? They're gonna also buy a tech roll. So I'm going to buy a factory. So, because they're one of national advantages. What am I talking about? No, this is I'm stupid. No, you're an idiot. How many? So, so don't. Don't bother listening to. It. I forgot. I want to say they could buy a factory. I'll have to cry for they can't. Wait, 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 wait. They're not buying it. I'm an idiot. And, a <laughs> and purchasing a, a minor factory. Still same cost of 12. Buying a, of course, they're buying a tech roll token. And buying infantry. They're also, okay, this is what I, I wanted to do. If the if first, if first perch, the first build of an air base is half price, so it's down to an 8 instead of a 15. The reason why I did that because I always thought in in this game of the UK UK Europe should should have, uh, have an air base in Gibraltar, Malta, or even Egypt. I always thought that they should have. I hate that that they, that, that they don't. In the second of, um, edition of uh, G40. So uh, instead of uh, just giving it to them. 
the first purchase of an airbase would be half price at eight, which is half, basically a half of 15. So that's what they're going to do. And of course, I said all my battles, almost all my battles anyways, I'm doing a Taranto. I'm going to attack Tobruk. Attack the Caesar <laughs> off of Malta. <laughs> Excuse me. Of course, attack that. Come on, focus. Attack that damaged warship of Germany and their submarine off of Caesar 110. And also, what I'm going to do uh, under my rules is in their. Oh, yeah, I forgot one more thing. Duh. This fleet over here. It's all the. We saw my last video. All, all the territories after the fall of France became Vichy France. So they're they're not allied to anybody. They're sort of a neutral. And so. Britain, at the beginning of their turn, they get the roll one die, for this French fleet in '93 off of South France. So they're going to roll for it. You get one die. A one becomes, that fleet becomes German. Two through four. It's, it's scuttled and uh, taken out of play. And sunk. Uh, a five. Would be, what, what was a five? A five is, uh, I think, Vichy. Stays Vichy. A six becomes free French. So I'm going to roll that dice. See, this, this is before we... This is during the, not during the combat move. Let's see what it is. It's a six! Ha <laughs> Look at that! So, that fleet becomes free French. All right! Yeah! Watch me! I think it was six anyways. That might, it might, might have been a five, but we're going to say six for now. I, I got to read all my rules again. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, so the, it's a French, free French fleet. It's not, no, no longer Vichy. It's not sunk and it doesn't go to Germans. Because, okay, um, let's see. Now, so my, since all the territories, are all, all, all the other uh, French territories, Besides these three, in maybe Africa, which in my my last video shows they they go automatically to the free French. West Africa, Central and Equatorial Africa goes to the free French. So now this flee is for the free French as well. Well, all the territory is Vichy, but now initially any any uh, <coughs> when they're Vichy initially. Any uh, nation can can attack Vichy territories with, with no combats. So I'm going to take this transport off of Britain into Normandy. Take one infantry. Now this Normandy becomes automatically free French. So the Germans can't take it over. This is why we're, I'm doing it. This transport, season 106, is going to take a man and tank. One, two, three. Going to Morocco. So also take taking Morocco without battle. You know it's a combat move. And finally, this uh, uh, mech from uh, Cairo. Going to legal, legal through Transorn as our own territory into Syria. And taking over Syria for the Free French. So all three of those territories become Free French. But there's... And the reason why there's no battles is because in the real war... When they did battle out for, let's say, uh, off the coast of Africa... It was it was a half-hearted defense for the, for the Vichy French. And it was really... It was just a little minor skirmish. No, no major battle. And, and they just gave up after a few shots. So that's why I'm doing it that way. It's a little abstract, but I don't want to complicate the rules. It's, it's not, <laughs> more than it is. So 
Morocco, Normandy, and Syria all become free French territories without battle. So it adds up to, adds two to the adds to the economy of two, three, and four. But there's also a consequence. Any other territory that's Vichy that wasn't attacked attack initially becomes all pro pro axes automatically. No, nope, they go pro neutral axes. That's what they go. So that's pro neutral axis. South France, Algeria, Tunisia. Let's see. All the way here in uh, French Indochina, it's also pro axis, neutral, and also French Madagascar, along with this destroyer, as well. That becomes pro. Pro axis neutral, so you treat them as such. And I'll box rules that all, all the axis has to do is to walk, just walk in and take it over. That's all they gotta do. So that's the consequence of uh, taking over, uh, attacking. Um, <coughs> of atta attacking uh, Vichy territories initially. So this take it takes away from the also takes away from the the Axis powers, and gives it the free French. But like I said, there's consequences now. They can take over South France, but if it could go the other way around too. Let's say Britain and the Allies don't take over uh, the <clears throat> those Vichy territories. The Axis can do the same, and if they do, they they suffer the same consequences. They take over the territory initially without battle, but all the other Vichy territories, they all, they all automatically become pro-neutral allies. So it treats it like that. So, so that's how I, I have that. So, all right, of course, I start with our uh, season 110. Remember this battleship only fires at three because it's damaged under my rules. If it's damaged, its attack and defense value is down, reduced to reduced to uh, three from a four. So that battle should go defend at three. So let's say I'm attacking with a destroyer and fighter. So let's say let's say that's a wash and all that's destroyed. <laughs> Hey, and I would go to Malta off of the season 96 off of Malta. Where I brought in a cruiser, and from uh, Gibraltar, I brought in a fighter. And from Egypt, I brought a, a man and artillery on a transport. Of course, I gotta eliminate a destroyer there first. And of course, I'm putting all my stuff in Alexandria. Into uh, Tobruk. So let's let's go with that. Let's say I did destroy this destroyer. <laughs> yeah, but destroyer he misses. <laughs> now it's this fenceless transport. In, in Transports in my version, if they're paired up with another transport, they fire at a one, but only at aircrafts. But since it's a, it's a single transport, it's defense totally defenseless. So, in my, under my rules, it's not an automatic kill. You have to roll for it. Yes, it has to endure one roll. It has to endure one round of battle against it. So I still have a a cruiser and a fighter going against that transport. Let's see if they knock it out. Let's say. Both the cruiser and fighter, they missed. So, this Italian transport can, can um, retreat to one, one spot that's friendly to it. That's, that's friendly. It can go to Season 98 because there's no shipping there. 94, even to 99, there's no shipping there. It can't go into Season in Toronto because. That's under battle. 
That's not friendly. But he's gonna he's gonna choose this, of course. He goes retreat off the, the coast of Italy on this side. I forgot season ninety three or ninety five. I forget it's covered. But it's retreating there. It endured one round of battle and it survived, so it retreats. Cause I always hate oh, automatic kills. I always thought that was stupid. Ah, and so since that battle's over. I'm, I'm units into to Brook and after about two or three rounds of battle let's say the town loses everything there and the British lose has heavy casualties itself too they lost three infantry and artillery they still survive with that now let's go for a so let's should put down huh. be for the bridge now he knows worthless they got rid of units now of course Taranto the axis declined to scramble so that's pretty much an easy if you go with um low luck odds easily this the cruiser and uh, battleship are sunk. Well, they get lucky and they get two hits. <laughs> they get a cruiser and a destroyer. <laughs> of course, this retreats over here. This came off of a uh, Malta. No, this goes into Malta as well. It's fighting to report that going. It's going to Cairo. Yeah. <clears throat> of course, it, these came from Britain, so they have really no choice of land but here. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, the bomber goes to Malta as well. <sighs> of course, now, since they only had three hits, I shouldn't have retreated everything just yet. They had three, three initial hits on that... Uh, Toronto raid on uh, Italian, so they still didn't get. So they got go. This transport still survives, but it has to go endure one more round of battle against uh, what was it? It was a bomber, two planes, and a uh, bomber, two planes, and, uh, and a dive bomber. So <laughs> against all that, that's not gonna miss. So it's, it's destroyed now. <laughs> But they had those units still had to roll for it. It's not an automatic kill. So I'm to put down my. I'll use my railroad. Sort of like sort of like sire bloods. So viewing the South Africa. It's, it's two units. It's gonna roll three spaces. It's gonna go into Sudan. And you know, in combat, that's about it for non combats, All right? And also, this, this destroyer season 71 it opted not to attack that v that now Vichy, I mean, that now pro neutral axis, ax, pro axis neutral destroyer. It opted not to attack it when it was Vichy, but now it's pro neutral axis now, so it's. Still blocks. Even if it was Vichy, it would still block movement of this. Because I can't just put it in there if it was Vichy and automatically declare for myself. It, had to, it has to be battle, actual battle. It's not like land territories where I could just take it over. Sea vessels, you have to actually. Vichy, uh, sea vessels, you have to actually have to. Um, take out and destroy and it can block your movement as well so that destroyer still stays but Madagascar is still on it's pro now pro axis neutral I don't know for how long all right and let's see I'm going 24 minutes and so I'll just put my units my, my factory in Egypt also 
Now my reduced cost of eight IPCs of my airbase, that goes to Egypt as well. We should, should have been in our first place, in my opinion, but no. And this infantry goes down to even South Africa. So that's uh, going 25 minutes. Crap! Why does it always do this? Stop easy. Okay, good. Cut it out. All right. Now it's uh, Italians. <coughs> okay, oh, before I start, stop with the. Uh, with the UK. Now, one of these destroyers, the reason I bought two destroyers for the US, so one of the natural advantages of the Britain, while the US is still neutral, it can receive a destroyer from the US, but on a US turn, it has to actually sail to the to factory off of Quebec or season 109, it couldn't. Yeah, it would take two turns to get there anyway, so I would I would put it in 106 on, on the U.S. next turn. I could put it in there, and it'll automatically become um, the British. As you know, in the real war, the U.S. provided, while they were neutral, they provided destroyers for the U.K. So I think that helps, helps them out a little bit. So now we'll go to... <clears throat> go to... Uh, What's the face? The Italians do it real quickly. Okay. And now we start with 10. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Uh, under the national advantages for um, Italy, they can purchase, their, they can upgrade a minor factory at half cost. When they're building, uh, upgrading their minor factories, and they could do it half cost. It usually be 20 IPCs, but now it's 10 IPCs. Because I always thought Rome should have had a, a a major industrial factory, anyways. I thought that's stupid just to make a minor factory. I mean, it's a capital. What the heck? So instead of just giving them one, they can have the option of uh, buying their first upgrade. It will be the first upgrade, though, only. They got to upgrade that Rome factory up to a major one at, at a 10. And since they turn up 10, they spent all their money. I just put it there for now. All right. Uh, and also, one of the next objectives for the Italians is that <coughs> they get five IPCs if they control all their ter territories along the Med with a value. One or more IPC value territory, so that in the Mediterranean, so that that would be what Albania, Rome, Northern Italy, and Libya. If they control that at the end of their turn, so pretty much those four territories: that Albania, Rome, Northern Italy, and. Libya. Anything with value, if they still control it after the end of the turn, they get five IPCs! Because I wanted to give uh, <coughs> the Italians some some extra cash. I mean, it's, it's really poor. <laughs> I mean, even China makes more than them. I don't think that's that's right. <laughs> so, I give uh, the Italians a break. They get five IPCs and then those for the for national objective. So, as you know, Tilburg has no value on it, so that doesn't count. And Ethiopia is not part of it because it's not part of the Mediterranean. I'm talking about Mediterranean territories, the original Mediterranean territories of value. For the Italians, they can say NO if they maintain that. So, all right. Uh, actually, I'll go and attack this fleet here. <laughs> yeah, but <whistles> and do it this 
this way. Ngew, ngew. All right, uh, let's, let's see how that goes. Of course, these two, they got two transports now because one retreated off of Malta. They're going to take a few. Two artilleries and two men. No. Screw that. Yeah, it's going to go into Greece. One man for Albania. Of course, that goes to Yugoslav. And yeah, let's say I. Italians get Yugoslav and no, and no uh, damage to them. And I got well, uh, a destroyer and a bomber going against 96. And let's say I destroy that cruiser. I got only I only got one hit. They also got a hit. They destroyed my cruiser as well. So this transport has to go one more. This British transport has to go one round of battle. Let's say um, let's say Italian bomber missed. So it's going to of course it goes on season ninety eight. It survived that that extra round of attack. All right now this this fleet is sunk. In 96. <clears throat> but it suffers. What else happened? Those tumble planes. All oh, those planes weren't here. Duh. It also sinks my fleet as well. But these two fighters, since they went down for the British, they get to roll a dice. And since it's not, and since it's not uh, friendly territory, if it was friendly territory, these two pilots, off, these pilots off these two uh, fighters would get, would get a roll. So I get two rolls. See if they can survive. But since it's not it's not friendly sea zone because Italy took it over, it's going to be the dice instead of a three or less. It's going to be two or less to see if those pilots survive. And they don't. It's a five and a six. But if those two or less, they would survive. And on uh, Britain's next pur purchase, where pilot survives, those uh, those those fires are reduced in cost of. Uh, Instead of 10, it would be a 7 IPCs. But in this situation, they, they both didn't survive, so they don't, they don't get it. So, la 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 la. Okay. Now, let's say they got Greece. Let's see. They see those three, <laughs> three guys. So, that's now theirs. Now, oh, crap, I should have done it this way. Oh, well, I'm going to do it this way. Now, they're in their non-combat. From Libya, it's artillery, a man just going to walk into Tunisia, which is pro, acts as neutral now, and it becomes theirs. So that also becomes... At least as well, that man. Let's say this tank <laughs> goes in southern France. And that becomes a talent as well. Like I said, it's pro neutral. Pro axe is neutral now. So that artillery and man becomes Italy's. No, it does not. I'm saying, duh. But it could. It could, but I'm not doing it that way because I want the Germans to have it. So it doesn't. But I have that option to do it, but I want the, the Germans to have it, so. 
Italy doesn't go in there. <laughs> I want the Germans to have it since Germans going to give them Yugoslav. So that's how it goes. <coughs> of course, Yugoslav's mine. All right. Uh. Oh yeah, I should put combat at least all this stuff into Kenya as well. And since this is um pro pro neutral, a pro axis neutral, it does not convoy Kenya. It's not Italian. It's not uh, actually axis ship yet. It's only pro axis neutral, so a ship will have to come into there and take it over. But it doesn't convoy Kenya. After comes the Italians. So it doesn't convoy it because it's pro axis neutral. All right, and let's see. I'm going 36 minutes, so I'm gonna I'm gonna end it with that. And when I collect, I got Libya, everything of value, and the Mediterranean for the for the Italians are still under. Italian control, so they, they get five extra IPCs. So that's how that goes. I'm going 36 minutes. I didn't think it would take this long. So I'm going to end it. And stay tuned for part six. Part six. No, no not part six. Part seven. <laughs> part seven. I'm going to see, it'll be the... It'll be the, um, what's their face? It'll be the, the Far East Command and France. Free French. So, any questions, leave them in the comment section. Stay tuned for part seven real soon. Don't leave it out.